What is going on guys? I am back with part 2 for this tutorial on how to build a fire station. In this video, we're going to go ahead and try to finish the main exterior of the building. So I'm going to go ahead and start right here at the front side of the building. This is near the front door. And I just have all of the blocks that we left off with in the previous part. So we have some gray concrete, white concrete, white stained glass panes, red concrete, quartz slabs, white stained glass, dark oak fences, and I just have a potion of swiftness just in case. Alright, so I'm going to start with my gray concrete right here at the front. What we're going to do is basically be lined up with these four blocks here. So we have two on this side. Is that two on this side? What we want to do is add an extra four layers on the layer that we have here. So we have one, two, three, and four. All right, now on that layer, on that top, you just want to add a layer of white concrete. Then back to your gray concrete, and we're going to add another seven. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven now back to your white concrete another layer on that then back to your gray one more time and we're going to add another three layers on that so there we go this section for the building is going to be three stories in height so we're going to have that layer there another layer there and another layer at the top so it'll make three let's go over here to this corner next and we just want to do the same that we did over there so, an extra four layers, just in this corner. Alright, then a layer of white concrete. Back to the gray, another seven. Alright, then back to the white. One on that, and then back to the gray, and we're going to have another three. And that is going to be the top layer for the gray concrete. On top of this, we're going to have a layer of white concrete, or not white, my bad, red concrete for the roof of the building, which you could actually see right over there. But there we go. This is what we, we have done it so far. Now let's go ahead and actually start filling in all of the space in the middle. So we have our windows. We have some big windows up here at the front side. We go over to this side, we're going to do the same that we did at the bottom for these parts. Real quick, before we actually fill in the middle spaces, let's continue doing kind of like the border around those middle spaces. So it's going to be similar to what we did there at the bottom already. So let's actually just add an extra layer of gray concrete on this entire section here. We're going to do the same for the other sections as well, so here at the front. And then over here to the other side. All right, there we go. Now let's head on back over here. We'll start with this side first. So right here, you just want to make sure to add another three layers of gray concrete on uh, these two spaces. So we have one, two, three. Then your layer of white back to the gray, add another seven. All right, then you have your white. Let's make sure that is good. Yep, okay. And then your gray three more times. All right, that all looks good. So there we go. And we'll do it on this side as well. We'll get it out of the way. So you see these two blocks here. Just want to line it up. Add another three. Then some white concrete. Then another seven. All right, then your white concrete and then another three. And there we go. Now let's actually, we'll head on over to this wall first. And we're going to copy what we did down there to that section and then the third section. So switch to your white concrete. You could just place one here for now. And then place one, just one block further back. You could delete that. So now we have this gray concrete, which is one block out the white concrete is in just like we did here so let's see we have one two three four five six 
want to do the same here. So we already have the one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just wrap this around. So we make a rectangle. And then let's start dividing the windows. So we have two spaces here and then kind of like a little pillar, two spaces here, a pillar, two spaces here and a pillar. So we make four two block wide windows just like that. Back to the gray concrete, we're gonna add another two layers above this white concrete. So one right here, similar to what we did at the bottom, and then two. Now let's go up another layer and do just exactly what we did down there. So you can just place a block, go in, and then border it around. And after you add this layer, let's add another five. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, now let's skip to two spaces here, have a pillar, skip two, pillar, skip two, and pillar, so it matches the bottom, the bottom, that sounded really weird, the bottom, the bottom, like that. All right, now you can switch to your gray concrete, and we'll add a layer right across to the other side, just like that. Okay, now you can fill in all of these empty spaces with your white stained glass panes. Okay, and there we go. So this entire wall is actually done. And now let's just, before we do this front middle section, let's head on over to this side since it's gonna be the exact same thing. We already know how to do it. So let's just do it for this side now. So remember just in one block, we'll wrap this around. Now, after you have this one layer, add another five on each side. So one, two, three, four, five then bring it across to the other side and then back down and then your little dividers every two spaces on top of this add another two layers of gray concrete and then some more white concrete Let's finish doing these little dividers. Then we gotta add one extra layer of gray concrete above this. And then we'll go ahead, fill all of this in with white stained glass panes. And then we'll head on to the front side. And it looks like it might be three block wide windows or it might be five actually. We'll figure it out as soon as we get up there, but let's finish filling in the rest of these. And then, uh, yeah, all of the other walls towards the back side there. We have some windows there, as you can see. But basically, all of these other walls, as you could also see, is just like a solid layer. So those are going to be really easy. Don't necessarily have to have any windows back there. All right. And there we go. So now let's head to the front. Let's switch to the white concrete. We're going to match it up to the bottom. So let's go in one block. We'll bring this across. And then add another five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's at the same height as that other white concrete. And there we go. This is this is kind of more of a square, not necessarily a full-on rectangle like the other sides. And then we'll just fill this in with white stained glass panes. So that bottom layer right below us is the front door. This is just gonna be a big window. As you can see, it looks like that. Let's go up above this white concrete, add an extra two layers of gray. All right, and then let's go in one block and have our white concrete. One, two, three, four, five, and just wrap it all around. And now I believe actually this is the final layer, right? Because we already had that layer for the door. All right, and then you could just have a layer of gray concrete to fill in the rest of that space. And there we go. 
that was really easy it's all just like symmetrical it's all the same what we did to this side we did to the other side very simple so there we go just three stories like that so we have this section done and now we have all of this done as well so basically all we have left to do for the exterior is bring up all of these walls back here and then we have to top it off with the roof and add our little sign that says fire so let's actually head on to this wall i forgot we have windows over here and maybe we could just do it now so we have these two spaces here we'll add one two three four layers then a layer of white concrete and then back to the gray one two three four five six seven then white and then one two and three let's go to this side you don't necessarily have to count it what you could do is just match it up to the other side so we have four there then white concrete then you should have a section of seven so it's lined up all right we're good and then three here all right now let's go back down almost forgot we actually have to add an extra layer here there we go and now you can switch to your white concrete we'll bring it in one or whoops one two three four five and then one two three four five all right there we go so it's actually six blocks in height but it's five blocks wide keep that in mind and then we have our white stained glass panes here. Okay, looking good. And then back to the gray. Add two layers on top of this. And then back to the white. We're going to go in and just wrap it all around. Fill all of this in. And then we need one extra layer of gray concrete on this right there okay now for the most part we have all of the windows for the build done so it's just all of these windows here at the front as you can see it's like a solid wall over there there are going to be a few more windows here at the back side so you can kind of see it over there without white concrete borders around we just have some windows over there but not as big as those ones at the front so yeah Let's bring up all of these walls back here. Just kind of this shape wrapped around here. And then we'll top it off with the roof. And for the most part, we got the exterior done. Keep in mind, we still have to do the path up here. Not, wait, not right here. But starting here, and it flows towards the garages. So um, maybe we'll have time to do that in this video. We'll see. We'll probably do it at the end. Uh, if we don't really have time, if I feel like we've been recording long enough, then we'll probably just do that at the start of the of part three. We'll see. But enough talking. Let's get to doing the rest of these walls. All right. For this section right here, it's actually not going to be three stories here. That's only for this part. Over back here is actually going to be the area where the helipad is going to be. So we don't need this here. So what we could do is actually remove this. And then we'll start bringing up the gray concrete walls to the same height that we're going to cut this down to. So we're basically just cutting down this last window here. Sorry about that. I kind of forgot that uh, this wasn't supposed to be brought up. Okay. So we're going to have two layers right above this window here. So we have one, two, three, and four. All right. So now what we want to do is go over to this side and bring up all of the gray concrete and a strip of white concrete all the way towards the back to the same height as this right here. Okay, so yeah, we have to bring it up to right here. Let's go ahead and do that. So we have our gray concrete. We're going to fill all of this in all the way towards the back here. We'll just stop it at this corner. We'll go up and add another layer. Work your way back up to the front. Then we just have another two layers, and then we have a layer of white concrete. Okay, now switch to your white concrete, add the layer on here. And then I believe we have another four gray concrete. Okay. 
Okay. So there we go. And then we're going to have some windows back here. But first, let's just go ahead and completely fill the entire wall in. And we'll wrap it towards a towards the front to connect with that and we'll cut out all of the holes for the windows after so let's add all of the layers of gray concrete we'll start here and then we'll turn we'll wrap it around here right up against this layer of quartz slabs bring this towards the front fill all of that empty space in and boom there we go so now all of that empty space that was here is now filled in with gray concrete Let's go up, add another layer, and work your way back to where we started it. Okay, now make sure to switch to your white concrete and add the strip right around here. And then we have another four layers of gray. And then we'll go ahead. I have one little thing left to do at that back corner, which I'll show you here in a second. But first, let's bring all of this up. And then we'll do that. And then uh, basically, we could, we'll could we carve out the holes for the windows here at the back. And then we got the roof. And then we basically have it done. All right, so we have to make sure to add another two layers for now, just to the same height as this other wall. The roof is going to be like um, slanted, so some of these parts over here are going to be a little bit taller, and it's going to work its way down. So you can actually see it right over there, how the roof is slanted. Some parts are taller than others, and it just slants down. I almost forgot, we actually have to do like the helipad and stuff too. Okay, so now, speaking of the helipad... Let's go back over to this wall. So you're looking at that wall where the windows are. We have the windows right there. We're going to go to this back corner. And we just want to add four, like a layer with four blocks on each side. So one, two, three, four right there. Go to this side, add another three. So it's four on each side. And this is where the helipad is going to be, as you can see. So I just added... A little extra layer of gray concrete there because we're going to have some railings here and it's just going to connect right up against that all right so there we go now let's actually head to this back wall and we'll start carving out all of the holes for the windows back here and then we'll start doing the roof of the building all right so at this back wall you can switch to your white concrete we're going to look at it from the right side here first, and we want to make sure to leave two extra spaces here at the right, so you're going to be on the third block. You could go up right one block higher than that strip of white concrete and cut out four blocks here. Underneath that, cut out two on each side, and then two more going across. Okay, now you could go ahead and cut out the four blocks here in the middle. You could just keep these blocks of white concrete because this is just going to be a little border of white concrete which will connect into that and there we go that is going to be one window so a lot smaller than the ones at the front we'll fill this in with white stained glass panes then switch back to your white concrete you can skip over one block to the left so starting right here cut out four cut out one here one here and then cut out four up here and then the four blocks in the middle border this around with white concrete once again and then white stained glass panes and now right next to this we're not going to skip over one but we're going to be kind of connected to that white concrete we're going to cut out another four here cut out one and then another four and then the four blocks here in the middle oh yeah and then this gray concrete okay so what we got to do is actually delete that have four blocks of white stained glass panes here and then border this side around with white concrete so we actually didn't need to delete this those are just going to be side by side like that so you could pause the video if needed you can see how it is i kind of made a little simple mistake over there sorry about that could have been confusing but it looks like this so now what we want to do is actually skip over another block like we did over there. So skip over this block, cut out another four, cut out one there, and then four up here, and then the four blocks in the middle again. Then border this around with 
white concrete. And then your white stained glass panes. And then I'll back up and you could see what it should be looking like. It's not too difficult. Just some simple small windows with some white concrete bordering around them. Okay, so we're left with two spaces there at the left, two spaces at the right. We have that one window, we skipped a space, two windows side by side, skipped a space, and then the one window alone over there. Okay, now we have those windows out of the way, and uh, we'll switch to the red concrete. We'll start here at the front, and we're just going to start doing the roof, and it'll be pushed back to about here, and then it'll start working its way down. So, let's get on to doing that. So, like I said, make sure to switch to your red concrete. We're going to start here at the front. And before we fill it all in, let's actually push this back to where we actually need it to be. And then we'll fill in all of this space in the middle. So we'll start here at the front. And we'll just place a block here. And then bring it out one. So it's overhanging like that. And then bring it out over here. So when you're underneath, it's overhanging on each side. So we have two here. Now what we want to do is push this back another 29. So including this two, it's going to be 31 in total. So another 29. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So from that, all the way to the front is 31 in total. Now let's start diagonaling this down. 7. So we're going to start here. You could delete that. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7 like that. Remember, it should all be overhanging one block further than this gray concrete, so just like that. Now, start right here, and you want to push this over to the left until you're one block further than that wall of gray concrete. So it's going to start here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and is that overhanging? No. So 13. And now that is overhanging one block further than that wall right there. So from right here to the block that we already had, it's 14 in total from side, from corner to corner. Now let's start, just match it up to that side. So we have that one there. So that is one. And then we already have two. So three, four, five, whoops six and seven so it matches up let's go up one more layer bring this towards the front make sure it is overhanging right here by one extra block so the corners of the red and the gray concrete are kind of colliding and then make sure this overhangs by one and wrap it around towards this corner where we started so now if you look all the way around we have the red concrete around the edge like that Okay, so now we have the border of the roof. So now this is where the potion of swiftness could come in handy. We'll go ahead and use this and we'll fill in all of that empty space that we just want to like fill in all the empty space in the middle of this. So I guess I'll start here at the back and you could just go back and forth right up against all of these red concrete blocks just back and forth like this so it's all filled in. And then once we reach the top, you just want to work your way all the way towards the front and fill it in with a flat layer. Okay, I'm finishing up with the red concrete. And there we go. It is all filled in. Looking good. So now from the front, it looks like this. It's shaping out. It's getting there. So now you see all this empty space here. What we'll do is actually just start filling this all in now. And just to get out of the way, we have this white concrete. We'll just push it back until you're right up against the red concrete. And now for all the remaining space underneath and above, that strip of white concrete is going to be filled in with gray concrete. I would recommend using the potion of swiftness again. We'll start here. Fill all of this in. 
is that this is actually going to be where that sign is that says fire is, is the word fire. So it'll be displayed right up against this wall. And then now after we have this all filled in, just like that, just a solid wall, we'll head on over to this other side. And we're actually going to have a door over here, which is going to be the like the door that's going to access the rooftop here, which will then be able to access the helipad. But for now, let's just completely fill in this wall. So we'll start here at this layer. So we have three layers of gray concrete that will completely fill in until we meet up with this red concrete underneath here. Make sure you still have the red concrete overhanging by one. So you just follow, followed along this wall right here. You just continued along. And then you want your layer of white concrete after you add that extra three layers of gray concrete. And then on top of this white concrete, we have one layer, two, and then three. And there we go. Now we have all of that filled in. So now, basically, if you look at it from the front, it looks all patched up. It looks all good. There is still a little bit more to do. We almost have it done. I would say we're about 75% done with the exterior. Actually, probably like 80%. <laughs> all right, so now we have all of this back here. So, I guess we'll take care of this now. We have our gray concrete. We're going to be on the same layer as this gray concrete that we already brought up. And we'll just completely fill in all of this empty space. And this is going to be like the floors for the rooftop. So we'll fill all of this in. And let me just actually use a potion of, potion of swiftness. And then after we fill this in, we'll go ahead and actually do the railing, which is going to be around the top edge of this uh, gray concrete just right along here so let's fill all of the rest of this in make sure to get like kind of underneath this red concrete right here where the overhang is so just uh match up the corners of the gray concrete so we have that corner there just like the edge like is that all right, and then the door is gonna be somewhere like right around here. I have to double check that exactly where it is. Okay, so we have that all filled in. Now you can switch to your quartz slabs. We're gonna start right here at the front edge. We're gonna add a layer just around the border of this gray concrete here. And then we'll stop it there. We'll start over here wrap it around and then back right here all right so as you can see it looks like that on that side so we're going to be doing the same thing here so it's going to be a gap of three for each space so we have one two on that and then we'll bring it over we'll add another one there so we have a half block gap in between these we have a full block here a full block here and then some slabs on top of it so we'll skip over three, place a block, place a slab, or like it forms it to a full block that we have a slab. Let's bring this over to the front. Actually, we'll stop it right there. We have a block there. Skip over three, right there. Skip over three, right there. All right, very simple. So we have the corner, three, block, three, block, three, block, three, and then it ends there. We'll start it here. So we have one, Two, add the slabs over towards the corner here and fill that in and then up against this section and right there and then we'll have a slab there so we left with three spaces and then we'll do the same here so right there 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 and uh, there okay and remember this is going to be the section where the helipad is gonna kind of like overhang so this is what the rooftop is looking like all looking good so let's go ahead and carve out the door here and then before we actually do the helipad we'll do this door and then we'll do the sign that says fire here is that we'll do the helipad and i think we should definitely have time to do the cutout right here and then we'll leave it at that for part two all right so let's head to this wall here and we'll start doing the door to the rooftop. 
Okay, a little something that I want to do different from the other side. As you can see, I'll probably zoom it in. You can see how the door doesn't really have anything around it. I want to change that up over here so it matches the rest of the building. So, we have this railing here. We're going to skip over two spaces. So, we're going to be on the third block. We're going to cut out one, two, three, four. And then we'll bring it up. We have that one layer, then two, three, four, and we'll do five like that. Now, let's go from the inside. We'll add a layer of kind of like a border of white concrete around the edge of that shape that we just cut out. So if you go from this side, it's just a border of, whoops, border of white concrete. Let's switch to the white stained glass panes. We'll have one, two, three, four. Curve out the bottom, the two at the top, and then a handle right there. And then right here, we'll actually just have four extra blocks of gray concrete for the, kind of like the floor. Okay, I thought that could be a cool little feature we could add. So it just matches the rest of the build. So yeah, I didn't have anything at the other side. It was just all plain. So I think that's pretty cool. Adds a little bit more. So now we're going to go to this side. We're going to use our quartz slabs and we're going to start forming the word fire. So make sure to have your quartz slabs. Look at this second block of red concrete here. Skip over two. So you're on the third block. And then we're going to start right here with our quartz slabs. We're going to place three like that. So we're at the bottom half of this red concrete block right there. We're going to skip over one. We're going to place another three. Skip over one, place another four. Skip over one, place another three. So we have the F, I, R, E. We'll go back over here. And we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can see... We just have a slab there, three full blocks of white, or uh, three full blocks of quartz, and then a slab there. So it should be kind of like eight slabs in total. Then we'll skip down an entire block. So starting right here, and we'll have just a slab like that for the F. Okay, now let's have the I. We're going to bring this all the way down until it's lined up with the bottom right there. One on each side. And there we go. Now we have the I. For the R, it's going to be a little bit different. So two on each side, two down the middle. We'll bring this side all the way down. And then we could start right here. We're going to have a full block there. Then we're going to go out from the corner and have another three slabs like that. And then we have the E. We'll bring down this entire left side. We'll curve out two extra at the bottom. And then we'll just have a full block right there in the middle. And there we go. We have the word fire. If needed, you could just uh, pause the video right now. I'll get really close so you could see the texture in the blocks. So you could copy it if needed. So there we go. And now that we have that done, let's get on. I think the last thing for the main exterior of the building is, is the helipad. So yeah, let's head back here and we'll start shaping out the helipad. We'll just, um, we'll clear all of these blocks and we'll gather up all of, all of the ones we need. And then after we do the helipad, we'll do the little texture in the ground at the front and we'll leave it at that for part two. Okay, for the helipad, I gathered up some quartz slabs, smooth stone slabs, and blocks of quartz. So, let's start with the full blocks of quartz. We're going to head on over here, right up against this railing, and we're going to place seven, just going off in that direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, let's go up against this railing and bring them over in that direction. So, starting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's bring this over until it's lined up with the edge of that block there. And then fill this last side in. So now we have the shape of the helipad. Now let's go right here, lined up with 
each strip of blocks of quartz, we're going to have one, two, three, then one, two. So it looks like three on this side and three on this side. Okay. Then we'll just switch to the uh, slabs. We'll have two there, two there, and then I believe I actually brought it out a little bit. So let's see. We actually have to bring it up another section. So let's fill these four blocks in right here. And then we'll switch back to the slabs and we'll fill that layer in. Okay. Now let's go within this entire shape for the helipad and we'll fill all of this in with a layer of slabs. Okay, and then we're going to shape out the H right here, but we'll worry about that in a second. So this is just like the little step up to the helipad. If you want to, you could have a block right there. I'm just going to leave it open. So now we can walk up. Let's go underneath and add some support. We'll start right here. So we have one extra block of gray concrete. With our slabs, we'll have one, two, three, four. We'll go underneath, we'll have one, two, three, one, two, one. Okay, let's go over to this side. So you can see we left two spaces here. So we'll leave another two spaces here. We're on that third block, leaving one space here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, and one. So that's gonna be the little bit of support underneath. Now, let's add a little bit more underneath so it's not completely flat. So, let's see. We'll have this layer. It's going to be kind of working its way down. So, we have a two-block overhang here. So, we'll start here. And we'll add a layer of slabs. So, it connects to each edge of that uh, little bracket support. And we'll fill this entire layer in. So it's like that. Let's go underneath one more layer. We're going to go in one. This time, instead of two here, we're going to go in one. Or wait, actually, should we just do two? And just fill all of that in? Oh, that's, uh, hang on. Okay. I guess that's good. And now, I think we are good, right? So we actually have a one block overhang here. Let's actually delete that. Oh, that's because of the little thing there. Okay, let's bring this in so it's not right lined up with that uh, support. Okay, and I think that's pretty good. Maybe we could bring these out, one extra. Is that we'll add an extra layer of slabs here. Okay, I think that's good. And then we'll add this here. And then an extra layer right here. All right, there we go. I like that. All right, so just to make sure, when you look at this little angle here, we have three, we have four full blocks of quartz here and then a slab. And then we just angled it down. So you can see, you can pause it if needed. It looks like that. And then we have the other side the same way. And then we started, we went in one block. So we're not here, but we went in one. And we have just a layer of slabs here. We went in one. We have a layer of slabs here that is two layers like that. So it's like a two overhang. And then we went down another layer and just added a little edge right here with the slabs. So not too difficult. You could just freestyle this if you want to make it just like make it be creative with it. Basically add whatever design you want underneath. It is all up to you. But for me, I think that looks pretty good. Don't necessarily need to overdo it. You can maybe do something like that in the corner. It's all up to you. Okay, so there we go. Now let's shape out the H for the helipad. So we'll start here. We'll carve out two. Then we'll skip over two and carve out another two. We'll have this as the smooth stone slabs. 
is that we'll bring this over until we left we're left with one block there at the bottom so just two side by side stone slabs like this and then here in the middle four full blocks of slabs like that and there we go we have the shape for the h on the helipad and now we have the exterior of the entire building done so from this side it is looking like this so now let's do is a little shape for the uh textured ground right here the path and we'll leave that that for part two then in part three i'm going to try to do the entire interior layout in part three and then in part four we'll do all of the interior furnishings and then we should have the build finished all right let's get on to doing the path down here now for kind of just like the little area for the fire trucks mainly and a little path which leads to the front door okay the blocks we're going to be using for the textured area down here and we're also going to be doing the parking spaces for the fire trucks so you just need some diorite cobblestone gravel andesite and then the red concrete so i cut out the shape at the front here for the path we're going to start over here at this corner where the entrance is it's actually very simple the shape so we're going to start here at the corner and you just want to make sure to cut out 12 blocks going towards this direction so you're cutting out you're like right on the edge of the plot size here so we're going to start here you could cut out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then twelve now after you cut out that 12 right here you want to go over to the left and cut out another eight so one two three four five six seven eight now go in and we're gonna just count down basically so we have seven here then go in cut out six then five four three two and one now you want to start working your way towards the garage doors so we have two here then we have three then four five and six until you meet up with that wall i believe that's six yeah so it's just kind of like a countdown so it starts at nine and then seven six five four three two one two three four five six and then 12 right there okay now you see this shape here just cut out all of the space within that shape let's actually grab a potion of swiftness and we're going to actually delete right underneath is these whoops hang on breaking everything we're going to delete right underneath that white stains the white stains glass panes here for the door okay and now everything else within the shape we're going to delete so all right here and then just work your way all the way until you're actually like right underneath the garage doors all of the floors here for the garage area is going to be the same as the outside so you don't necessarily need to delete this block here because it's going to be deleted either way and replaced with the stone but we'll delete it anyway so we have it out of the way so we don't have to worry about it later okay now all of this other space within the shape will just completely delete and then we'll fill it in with the random blocks and we'll have the parking lines for the fire trucks. So I'll see you guys in a second when I have it all cut out and then we'll get on to filling all of it in. Okay guys, I just about got all of the dirt within that shape cut out and I actually decided to make an efficiency five diamond shovel uh some people said that it's actually faster to do this like it works faster to delete blocks like this in creative than to just use your hand i'm not sure if i could really tell the difference between this shovel and just regular creative mode oh maybe i actually have to go in survival that actually makes sense i'm actually supposed to go in survival um I'm not really going to do that. I don't think it's necessary. Maybe I give it a try one day, but right now I'm not too worried about it. 
but yeah let me know guys if it's actually faster to delete the blocks with an efficiency 5 diamond shovel in survival than it is in creative let me know but uh we'll just completely fill all of that space in with andesite first then we'll go back with our other blocks we'll cut out a bunch of random holes and add a little extra texture to the path so I'll see you guys when i have this all filled in with andesite first Okay, so I completely filled this in with andesite, so it's basically all marked out. Now, I'm going to go back, cut out a bunch of random holes, and we'll fill it in with gravel, cobblestone, and diorite. So I'm going to do something a little bit like, a little bit like this. And all of these holes, I'm just going to try to even it out between all of the other blocks. So I'll see you when I have it all done, then we'll cut out the sections for the parking spaces with the red concrete. And we'll leave it at that for part two. Okay, I just finished filling in all of the space for this area, and it looks like this. Alright, now we'll use our red concrete to mark out where the parking spaces are going to be. Then we'll go around to delete the rest of this yellow concrete, and then that'll be it for part 2. Alright, for the parking spaces, we have our red concrete. We'll start right here, and we'll bring it out 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. At the original build, I only brought it out 8. But then the parking spaces were only... Like when I had the fire trucks there, the fire trucks were twice the length of the parking spaces. So it literally made no sense to have the parking lines because the fire trucks were way past how long they were. But we'll go ahead and make these the actual length of the fire truck so that they're all good and yeah i don't really know why i left it like that a little bit weird but it's all good we'll fix it all right so as you can see i'm just lining up with these uh white concrete blocks here and cutting out a hole of 14 filling it in with the red concrete very simple uh let's switch that to like gravel or something and we'll do cobblestone uh, keep in mind, if you want to add a little bit of extra texture here where all of this stone is, you could just grab maybe some stone buttons and place some here and there, just every once in a while. And um, yeah, add a little bit more. But there we go. We have the parking lines for where the fire trucks are going to be. So one there, one there, one there, three parking spaces in total. And now we'll leave it at that here in part two. So the main exterior is done. So yeah, in part three, we will be starting the interior. All right, guys, I actually almost forgot. I seem to literally forget this almost every single time, but make sure to delete the yellow concrete here and replace it with blocks of grass. I just ended the video. I've done this probably at least like, this has to at least be the fourth time where I forgot to delete the concrete around the edge before ending the video. But yeah, let's delete all of this. Make sure to just go all the way around anywhere you see this yellow concrete feel free to delete it and fill it in with blocks of grass and then then that is it okay i have it all filled in now all taken care of so now that is going to be it for part uh two Okay guys, that is going to be it for part 2 for this tutorial on how to build a fire station. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 3. Later!